This week's video is brought to you by Melodic Death Metal, so if you're a fan of Melodic Death Metal, you're gonna want to get on top of this. But there's also a little bit of doom metal and a little bit of deathcore in there as well, and I am not entirely mad about this. How you doing? Welcome back to my channel. So once again, I'm back with another New Metal Monday where I talk about my favourite new metal releases of the week and it has been an absolute jam-packed week for new releases. But this week I have four albums, one EP and I'm just going to jump straight in because I am very excited about these. So the first record that I want to talk about in today's video is a record that popped up everywhere throughout the metal community. I was seeing the album artwork for this record all over the place and it's a journey. <laughs> this this record was an absolute journey but in the best way possible and that's Bell Witch Future Shadows Part 1 The Clandestine Gate. Now this is absolutely stunning and it is a sprawling soundscape of a record and it's absolutely fantastic. I fell in love with this. I had to gear myself up to listen to this because it's only one track in the entire record. The entire record is just one track but the track itself is an hour and 23 minutes long and wow this is proper atmospheric doom metal like proper doomy evil sounding doom metal and it is stunning. It is beautiful. I've only managed to listen to it twice over the weekend. The fact that I've been able to listen to it twice considering the one track on this record is an hour and 23 minutes long but that's by the by. I've listened to this record twice over the weekend and I highly suggest that you get yourself a good pair of earphones. Get yourself some earphones, put aside an hour and a half of your time, get yourself settled and just go on this journey. It is absolutely stunning. You really need to focus on this. It's not something that you can just put on in the background and go off and do something else. You really do need to set aside some time to really focus and appreciate the depth of detail in this record. Now this record is chapter one of a planned triptych of records of this kind where it's basically just one track that's the entire record and they're collectively going to be known as Future Shadow. So definitely check it out, Bell Witch, Future Shadow, Part 1, Clandestine Gate. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, so next up on my list is a record that I absolutely fell in love with. I was blown away by this record and I've had it on repeat over the weekend. In between everything else, don't get me wrong, but I have had this on repeat a fair number of times. I absolutely adore this record. And that's Atavistia with Cosmic Warfare. Now it's the third album from the melodic death metal symphonic black metal band and they've self-released this. Now this record is only six tracks long but it does span 47 minutes altogether and it is absolutely amazing. It's really atmospheric, it's really orchestral, it's... Ah! I <laughs> just I can't get over how good this record is! Now for those of you who don't know, I am actually a writer for This Day in Metal and I have written a full album review for this record which breaks the record down track by track in detail. So if you want to check that full review out, I'll add that in the description box below. Now we all know that this channel is all about the atmosphere, it's all about the symphonics, it's all about the atmosphere, it's all about the melodics, but it's also about all the good riffs, the breakdowns, the blast beats and the absolute ferocity. And this record has it all. It has it all. It's on the backdrop of orchestral elements and it's so atmospheric but it's so brutal and it's so ferocious and it just charges at you and it has all this awesome synth in it. I adore this record. It's got brutal growls in it but it's also got some really nice cleans as well. Don't sleep on this record. I love every single track on this record and the more I listen to it, the more I discover and it's just absolutely phenomenal. Don't sleep on this one. Okay, so next up I have Neverus with Burdens of Earth. Now this is Dutch melodic death metal, but it's got a wee bit of prog and a wee bit of power metal in there as well. Now I believe the band actually refer to themselves as majestic death metal and it's definitely that. I can't argue with that. There's definitely something incredibly majestic about this band. It's really catchy, it's really melodic but it's really ferocious and the vocals are absolutely stunning. So if you're a fan of the likes of Blind Guardian and Insomnium, imagine those two kind of bands kind of mashed together. That's what you get with Neverus. 
Favourite tracks off this record are Banish and Burn, Lazarus and From the North. Okay, so next up I've got another melodic death metal band and that's Undrask with God Emperor. And this is melodic death metal like I said, but it's basically Viking metal as well. This is really catchy, it's really melodic, but it's really rousing and upbeat as well. Now the band themselves have said that they wanted to achieve a record that was both really tasty but really heavy and also melodic at the same time and they've definitely achieved this. This record is absolutely stunning. The guitar work is something else entirely. Like I said previously, it's really rousing and it's really catchy and really, really addictive. If you're a fan of the likes of Amal and Amarth, you're definitely going to want to check these guys out. Favourite tracks off this record are Spoils of War, The Mountain and The Tempering. Okay, next up and last on my list, but definitely by no means least, is the EP of the week, my favourite EP that's been released this week, and that's Brand of Sacrifice, Between Death and Dreams. Now this is some deathcore, and normally I'm really quite fussy when it comes to things like metalcore and deathcore, it's not really something that I tend to venture into that often, but this absolutely blew me away. All the synthy goodness, all the epic breakdowns, all the blares that you could possibly want, I realise now that my blur was quite pathetic, but we'll just bypass that. The breakdowns are really gritty, the guitar work is absolutely phenomenal, this is incredibly brutal, all the synths, all the time, I absolutely loved this EP. I'm not going to choose a favourite track because there's only four tracks on this EP and it's only about 16 minutes long, but it certainly packs a punch. Definitely get on this if you like your breakdowns, if you like your synthy goodness, if you like the brutality and the guitars and the absolutely ferocious vocals. This was so good and I am definitely going to be following this band closely. Okay, that's it for this week's New Metal Monday. If you can comment down below to let me know what you think of any of the records that I've spoken about in today's video. And again, there are a couple of other records that I haven't had a chance to get through yet, but I'll definitely be talking about them over on my social media pages if you want to give me a follow there. Let me know what you think of Bell Witch. It's not very often I come across a record that's only got one track on it, but the track is an hour and 23 minutes long. But it's definitely something that I'm going to be keeping an eye on with these guys because it, I thought it was phenomenal. But if you can let me know below what you think of it. If you could like, share, subscribe, I really do appreciate your support. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time in my next video.